Okay, the second thing that we're going to deal with on the final exam practice three is uh, methods. And the thing is, is that uh, there are methods on the final exam, and we haven't done these as much uh, since we did, since we did this in chapter three. If you would like, uh, is to try to do these two problems and then come back to the video and see how to do them. So that would be my suggestion to see what you already know and then come back and see how that we figured this out. So this is how you do this. The first thing is that you have, you have and this is, these are all critical points that are going to be needed for the test, is that you have a, um, a header here, a method header there, and you have a method header here. You always start with the main method. That if you didn't know that, you need to write that down. Always start with the main method. And so we started here. In this case, we're going to start up here. So no matter where it's located, you always start with this line. And so the next, the first thing we do is we have int m is three, and then we have this line here. Now this line here is a method call. Why is it a method call? What makes it a method call? What makes it a method call is that it contains uh, the name of another method. Okay, not the we're in main, and it's going to contain the name of a method other than main. And so, um, you, so you see the word calculate, and you go, well, calculate, what's that? Well, if you look at your other headers, you see that calculate is the name of one of the headers, which it, the name is always before the parentheses. And so um, that, that means that we are now, instead of going to the next line down, we're going to go to the method. A method call takes us to another place in the program. And so it's going to take, um, it's gonna, we're going to go up to here. Now, because there's something in the parentheses, it's going to pass uh, something along uh, to the other to the method header, and so this is going to go from here all the way to here. And what it's going to do is it's going to uh, pass the value of m. So this three is the value of m, and so it's going to pass the three up to here, and so your so a is actually going to be three. Now this is called uh, down here. This is called an argument, and up here this is called a parameter variable. So this is a parameter variable, and so you have you actually have a memory location here whose name is a, and it holds the value three. It stores the three that's being passed from the method call. And so a is now three. And then in here it says to print whatever a times 10 is. And a times 10 is 30, so it prints a 30. Now the other important thing here is that you need to know that at the end of a method, um, always return, um, return to its method call always. So the method's done. Where was this? Where was calculate called? It was called right here. So this, these are like landmarks. So it tells you where you need to go, and to, as far as following the code. And so we return to method call, and there's nothing to do here. So it goes down to the next line, and the next line says to print 14 divided by m. M is three, and so 14 divided by three is four, um, and an int, because an int divided by an int is an int, so you just truncate or cut off the decimal. All right, so that's how uh, this works. Now, if you understood all those things, that, the, that you could recognize method headers, you recognize a method call, you know that this is an argument that passes um, a variable or uh, an amount to the parameter in the method header, and then after the method's done, you return to your method call. If you understand all that, then you could really pretty much uh, deal with any of these type of problems that we throw at you on the final exam. 
That's all you got to know. So let's go to part two. Um, so once again, you've got a method here, and you have a method here. And you always start with the main method. And so the first thing is you have m is 5, and then you uh, have a, dub, a variable double, a double data type, which is named y. And then it says y is, is assigned this. Now, here again, you've got calculate. Well, what's that? Well, you go and you find calculate on a line, and it says here. So you've got a, a main, it's pointing to a method. And so this is a method call. So right here, this, and what I should have done, what I should have done is um, made these the same colors as the first one. So the yellow is the, me the method headers, and the green is the method call. And so this is going to then go from here to here. And it's going to pass the value of m. Uh, you're, what you're, what you're going to have here is you're going to have a uh, variable a, which is a parameter variable, and you're going to have a variable b, which is another parameter variable. The a is going to take, since it's the first parameter, will take the first argument. And so m is the first argument, so which is 5. So a is assigned 5. B, being the second parameter, takes the value of the second argument, and so that is 3.0. So C is uh, declared in this method, and um, it calls A. Well, A is 5, and then B is 3.0, and a int times a double is a double. So um, C, which is another variable, is going to be 15.0. And then we're going to return C. So 15, we're going to return 15.0. Now, what did we say? We said at the end of a method, you return to its method call. And so we're going to do, that's the same thing we're going to do here. And but we're also in this going to the method call. We're also returning the value, and so we're going to um, then go to the method call, which is right here. So we should always know where to go. And in here, this method call is replaced by the return value. This is actually the value of that method. It's, so what, now you have a very simple statement. Y is assigned 15.0. And then we go to the next line down, which is to print the value of 15.0 by um, 7. And 7 goes in um, to 15 twice. And it, if you do this in the calculator, you get something like 2.14, blah, blah, blah. And so because it's, it has to be a double, you keep the decimal. All right, so that's how th that part goes.